Um, you ready? Okay, what you saw me do was lift that towel. I, all I did was make, the, make sure the iron was hot enough. I didn't expect to be moving this quickly. I thought I would take little breaks, but uh, it seemed to go relatively smoothly. Is, um, is just wait for my iron to get hot. Plug it in and get, wait for it to get hot. So let me put something underneath so I don't melt my table. I just realized that. Hang on a second. Let me get the dish cloth. Got the iron. Got the paper. Got the rhinestones. Got this. <laughs> I'm just going to get a big piece of paper or cardboard underneath it. Artistic shots. Now this is a very hot iron. Um, you can, I mean, people use heat presses. I can't get that fancy. I'm using an iron. It's on a high setting and the steam is off. So in between cotton and linen. And here's my paper. Um, and if you were doing, I actually use paper for both. If you're, you can, same, same procedure for a t-shirt as it is for a card or anything else. I'm going to position it. And normally, if I was taking my time, I'd probably do some little guideline um, to center that for me. But I'm, I'm pretty good about eyeballing stuff, so I'm going to try and eyeball it. There. I'm happy with it being there. What do you think, Darn? Yes, dead certain center. Okay, and place it. And then a piece of paper over here. And then I'm going to apply the heat for 15 seconds. And you're going to note, but I'm not doing this weird, like, shh, shh, shh moment. It's really, it's a slow, steady movement, counting one, two, three. And, and, and if um, you're doing this on fabric, I'm actually quite surprised at how well it sticks. I thought first wash, they had a whole bunch of rhinestones that come flying off, and it didn't. And I think the secret was really making an effort to uh, make sure that the heat press was done properly and not doing it short enough. I found you really had to do it for the solid 15 seconds. It's not like brushing your four. teeth. You can't just skimp out. No. <laughs> Peanut gallery out of her opinion. Okay, I'm just going to take a look. There we are. And that's what they call the ta-da moment. I'm going to lift up, put my glasses on. No, it didn't, it didn't quite stick to that. Same little area, causing problems. You can always go back. That's the nice thing about that transfer. If I wanted to save that design, I would just take it and place the, the plastic back on here and it would stick. If I wanted to store it for later, or I was making a whole bunch of them, or if I was going to be selling them at a craft show. I think I'm going to be able to make some really, really oh, uh, nice um, Christmas cards. Using this dysfunction. Okay. And there you go. Um, and then I'm happy to make, uh, can you see that, sweetie? Yeah. See the shine? I think that looks really pretty. And I would just do a little bit of embellishing, maybe with some chalking on the edge or some lettering with princess or something. And I'll post this on my blog later. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that demystified the whole blingifying process for you. Okay, I'm Lisa at quillingpatch.com. And I'll talk to you soon.